Hello. My name is Jenny. I am a student. I study English literature. I am in London now. London is big and beautiful. I am here to learn English. I want to tell you my story. It is a sunny day in summer. The sun is bright. The sky is blue. I am happy. I am traveling on a train. The train is fast. It goes through the city. I see many houses and trees. There are two men on the train. They are sitting opposite me. The men are talking. They speak English. I listen to them. I understand a little. I am learning English. I am a beginner. I know a few words. I want to speak English well. I look at the men. I smile. I want to talk to them. I am a bit scared. But I want to try. I say hello to the men. Hello. I am Jenny, I say. The men look at me. They smile. Hello, Jenny, they say. I am happy. I am talking in English. I am from Spain, I say. The men nod. They understand me. This is good. I want to say more. But it is hard. I know only simple words. The men are kind. They speak slowly. They use easy words. I understand more now. We talk about London. We talk about the weather. The weather is nice today. The train stops. This is my stop. I stand up. Goodbye, I say to the men. Goodbye, Jenny, they say. I get off the train. I feel good. I spoke English today. I walk in London. The streets are busy. There are many people. They all speak English. I listen to them. I learn new words. I am happy to be here. I am going to meet my teacher. My teacher is fantastic. She teaches English. She is kind and patient. I want to learn many things from her. I see the school. It is big. I go inside. I am excited. Today is my first day. I will learn English. I will make new friends. It is a beautiful day. I am at the school. The school is big and bright. There are many classrooms. I hear people talking. They speak many languages. I am here to learn English. I meet my teacher. Her name is Mrs. Smith. She is nice and smiles a lot. Welcome, Jenny, she says. I smile back. I feel happy and a little nervous. Mrs. Smith shows me the classroom. It is big. There are tables and chairs. There is a big board at the front. There are pictures on the walls. The pictures are of places in London. There are other students in the classroom. They are from different countries. 
They are here to learn English too. We say hello to each other. Hello, I am Jenny, I say. They smile and tell me their names. The lesson starts. Mrs. Smith speaks slowly. She uses simple words. We learn new words. We learn about colors, numbers, and days of the week. It is fun. We play a game. The game helps us learn English. We have to say the names of things in the classroom. Window, door, table, chair, I say. I am learning. The lesson ends. It is lunch time. We go to the cafeteria. The cafeteria is big. There are many foods. I see sandwiches, fruits, and drinks. I choose a sandwich and an apple. I pay and find a place to sit. I sit with my new friends. We eat and talk. We try to speak in English. It is hard, but we help each other. We laugh and enjoy our lunch. After lunch, we have another lesson. We learn about animals. Mrs. Smith shows us pictures of animals. Cat, dog, bird, fish, we say. I like this lesson. I love animals. The day goes fast. It is time to go home. I say goodbye to my teacher and friends. Goodbye, see you tomorrow, I say. I feel happy. I learned a lot today. I walk back to the train station. I think about my day. I learned new words. I made new friends. I spoke English. I am proud of myself. I get on the train. I remember the men from the morning. I wish I could see them again. I would tell them about my day. The train moves. I look out the window. I see the city. London is beautiful. I am excited about tomorrow. I will learn more English. I will get better. I get off the train. I walk home. The sun is setting. The sky is orange and pink. It is beautiful. I feel good. It was a great day. The next day is sunny too. I wake up early. I am excited. Today after school I will explore London. I want to see the famous places. I eat breakfast. I have toast and tea. I like tea. It is very English. I get ready for school. I take my bag and book. I say goodbye to my host family. They are nice. They are helping me with my English. I walk to the train station. The morning air is fresh. I like walking. I see flowers and trees. I hear the birds. The city is waking up. I get on the train. It is not very busy. I find a seat. I look out the window. I see the houses and shops. I see people going to work. I think about my English. I want to learn more. I arrive at school. 
I say hello to my friends. They are happy to see me. Good morning, Jenny. They say. I smile. I say good morning in English. I am learning. The first lesson is about the city. Mrs. Smith talks about London. She shows us pictures. There are pictures of Big Ben, the London Eye, and Buckingham Palace. I want to see them all. We learn words about the city. Street, building, park, bridge, we say. Mrs. Smith tells us about the history. It is interesting. I want to learn everything about London. The lesson ends. It is time for a break. We go outside. The sun is warm. We talk and laugh. I will try to speak more English. It is getting easier. I am happy. After school, I don't go home. I am going to see London. I say goodbye to my friends. I am going to explore. I say. They wish me luck. I take the train to the center of London. I am excited. The train is busy. There are people everywhere. They all seem busy. I watch them. I listen to their English. I get off the train. I am in the heart of London. There are so many people. There are big buildings. I see a red bus. It is very British. I take a picture. I walk to Big Ben. It is huge. I look up. The clock is big. It is old but beautiful. I take more pictures. I hear the bell. It is loud. I feel like a true tourist. Next, I go to the London Eye. It is a big wheel. It goes round and round. People are in the pods. They look down at the city. I want to go too. But I am a bit scared of heights. I walk along the river. The river is called the Thames. It is wide and flows slowly. There are boats on the river. The view is beautiful. I see the Tower Bridge in the distance. It is famous. I am tired but happy. I saw many places. I learned new words. I practiced my English. I will write about this in my diary. It was a great adventure. I go back to the train station. I take the train home. I think about my day. London is amazing. I am lucky to be here. I am learning so much. I get home. My host family asks about my day. I tell them in English. They listen and smile. They are proud of me. I am proud of myself. I go to my room. I am tired. It was a long day. But it was wonderful. I am learning English. I am seeing London. I am making memories. It is a beautiful life. The next day is Saturday. There are no classes on weekends. I decide to explore London.
I want to see the famous places. I want to practice my English too. I start early. The sun is bright. The air is fresh. I take my AP. The map shows the places to visit in London. I am excited. My first stop is Buckingham Palace. The palace is big and beautiful. There are many people. They take photos. I take photos too. I hear people speaking English. I listen to them. I learn new words. I see a group of tourists. They have a guide. The guide speaks English. I join the group. I listen to the guide. He talks about the palace. He talks about the queen. I understand some words. The tour ends. I say thank you to the guide. Thank you, I say. He smiles. You're welcome, he says. I feel happy. I spoke English again. I walk to the next place. It is the London Eye. The London Eye is a big wheel. It is very high. I buy a ticket. I want to see the view from the top. I get on the London Eye. It moves slowly. I go up. I see London from the top. It is amazing. I see the river, the bridges, and the buildings. I take many photos. I hear a family talking. They speak English. I listen to them. The child sees a boat. Look, a boat. He says. I learn the word boat. The ride ends. I get off the London Eye. I feel good. I saw beautiful views. I learned a new word. I am hungry. I find a small cafe. I go inside. I look at the menu. I see sandwiches, salads, and drinks. I want to order in English. I wait in line. It is my turn. I would like a chicken sandwich, please, I say. The woman smiles. Anything to drink? She asks. Water, please, I say. I did it. I ordered in English. I sit and eat my sandwich. It is delicious. I am proud of myself. I explored London. I practiced my English. I look at my map. There are more places to see. But I am tired. I decide to go home. I can visit more places another day. I walk to the train station. I think about my day. I saw famous places. I spoke English. I am learning and exploring. I am happy. I get on the train. I go home. The sun is setting. The sky is beautiful. It is a good end to a great day. On Monday I go back to school. I am excited to learn more English. I am also excited to see my friends. Today we have a new student in class. Her name is Maria. She is from Italy. She is friendly. 
We say hello to each other. Hello, Maria. I am Janny, I say. She smiles. Nice to meet you, Jenny, she says. Mrs. Smith starts the lesson. Today we learn about food. We learn the names of fruits and vegetables. It is interesting. I like this lesson. After the lesson, Maria and I talk. We talk in English. We help each other with words we don't know. Maria is nice. I am happy to have a new friend. Maria and I decide to have lunch together. We go to the cafeteria. We choose our food. We sit and eat. We talk about our countries. We talk about London. We are happy to be here. In the afternoon, we have another lesson. We learn about clothes. Mrs. Smith shows us pictures of clothes. We say the names in English. Shirt, pants, dress, shoes, we say. It is fun. After school, Maria and I decide to explore London together. We want to visit the British Museum. The museum is famous. It has many interesting things. We take the train to the museum. We talk on the train. We practice our English. We are excited to see the museum. The museum is big. There are many rooms. There are things from all over the world. We see statues, paintings, and old things. We read the information. It is in English. We learn new words. We spend a lot of time in the museum. We see many things. We talk about what we see. We use our English. It is a good way to learn. It is late. The museum is closing. Maria and I say goodbye. See you tomorrow, we say. We had a great day. We learned a lot. I go home. I think about my day. I made a new friend. I explored a museum. I practiced my English. I am happy and tired. I am learning and growing in London. Every day is an adventure. I am excited for what comes next. One morning, Mrs. Smith gives us a new challenge. We will have a project, she says. You will work in pairs. You will prepare a presentation in English. I feel nervous. A presentation in English sounds hard. But it is also exciting. It's a chance to learn more. Maria and I decided to work together. We are happy to be partners. We think about our project. We decide to do a presentation about famous parks in London. We start our research. We use the Internet. We find information about Hyde Park and Regent's Park. These parks are big and beautiful. We learn about their history and what people do there. We write our presentation. We use simple sentences. We practice saying it. We help each other. We correct our mistakes. It is good teamwork. 
The day of the presentation comes. I feel very nervous. My heart beats fast. Maria feels nervous too. But we are ready. We practiced a lot. We stand in front of the class. We start our presentation. Today we will talk about Hyde Park and Regent's Park, we say. We speak slowly and clearly. We show pictures of the parks. We talk about the flowers, the trees, and the lakes. We talk about people walking, riding bikes, and having picnics. The other students listen. They look interested. This makes me feel better. I start to feel less nervous. We finish our presentation. Thank you, we say. The class claps. Mrs. Smith smiles. Very good, Jenny and Maria, she says. I feel proud and happy. We did it. After class my classmates say nice things. Good job, they say. I liked your presentation. I thank them. I feel very happy. This project was a challenge. But Maria and I worked hard. We became better friends. I realize that challenges are good. They help us grow. They make us stronger. I am ready for more challenges. One day Maria suggests a special adventure. Let's visit the Tower of London, she says. It is a famous place. We can learn more about history and practice our English. I think it is a great idea. I love adventures. I love learning new things. We plan our visit for the weekend. The Tower of London is old and famous. It was a castle, a prison, and a palace. Now it is a museum. People from all over the world come to see it. We take the train to the tower. We are excited. We talk about what we want to see. We want to see the crown jewels. We want to see the armor. We want to learn the stories. We arrive at the tower. It is big and impressive. There are walls and towers. There is a big gate. We buy our tickets. We go inside. We join a tour. The guide is funny and knows many stories. He speaks English. We listen carefully. We understand most of what he says. This makes us happy. The guide shows us crown jewels. They are beautiful and shiny. There are crowns, scepters, and swords. They are very old. They are very important. We see the armor. It is big and heavy. The guide tells us about the knights. They wore the armor in battles. It is interesting. We walk around. We see old rooms and stairs. We see where prisoners were kept. The tower has many stories. Some are happy. Some are sad. We use our English. We read the signs. We ask questions. We talk to each other about what we see. We learn many new words. 
Our adventure at the Tower of London is special. We leave the tower. We are tired but happy. We are proud of ourselves. We take the train home. We talk about our adventure. We are excited to tell our teacher. Our adventure at the Tower of London is a day we will always remember. It is a day of learning and fun. It is a day of friendship and adventure.